Okay, this, uh, this clearly looks like trouble. That, oh, that can't be good now. We just fall off. Let's, oh, 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 oh. Now on the channel, we've done lots of experimenting around with the question, how many wings does a plane really need? Obviously, removing the main wing is, uh, not a good idea. But the three wings in the tail section are always something interesting, I think. For example, we've been experimenting around with the vertical stabilizer and why you may want to keep that on. Am I right, Japaner? Hmm. Yeah, taking off is very interesting with this kind of configuration. I mean, of course, we have wings that create lift. But let's see what happens if we take off now that we have no vertical stabilizer or rudder. I mean, something that works at least is... Oh. Come on. Oh, yeah, the nose landing gear still is able to rotate. So we can still steer the airplane on the ground. But let me tell you, this flight will not go well. All right, full power here on the 747-200. Shh, it's fine. It's fine. We're at 100 knots now. I wonder if we are able to actually get airborne in this configuration. Come on, let's change the time a little bit to make it more pleasant lighting. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, steering at... Oh, even on the ground, steering is hard with just nose that in gear. All right, let's see if we can take off. Pull up here on the elevator. Hey, that actually works. We're able to take off. It's just that the plane has no yaw stabilization, so... I'm trying to get rudder here to work. The airplane will inevitably rotate and crash like that. Womp, womp. No, really, the removal of the entire vertical stabilizer and the rudder really is bad news. We can try to fly for like a, yeah, a few seconds or so, but we slowly start spinning out of control, out of yaw, and then we die. But we've already figured that. Yeah, let's focus on some other wings the horizontal stabilizer for example that horizontally stabilizes the airplane i guess and also has elevator surfaces which is very important for controlling our attitude this will suck okay this could be interesting yeah i really don't know how this plane will fly once again i mean we've got wings those should be able to provide lift but there's no oh there's oh look there's a little piece of elevator still moving can you see that Funny. All right, let's see what it's gonna do. Full power, I mean, the engines work, the rudder works so we can steer nicely. I don't think that will be the problem. I just wonder, how are we gonna, how are we gonna rotate? Maybe put out the flaps a little bit? I mean, at some point, the plane must take off on its own, especially when we put out the flaps. Come on, let's do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it gonna take off eventually? Come on. Uh, obviously, because we can't pull up with our configuration, we can't fly, it seems. Well, okay, there's a ramp. Slash mountain, okay. And uh, yeah, we've got no control, but actually, because we still have aileron, we can actually still fly. This is per. Okay, never. I forgot about. Oh, I forgot about that. We. Oh my god! That is completely out of control. That hasn't gone very well. And the engines have failed. Wow, we just fall out of the skies like that. But I kind of want to give this plane another chance right here. This is a 5,000 meter long runway. Absolutely insane. Let's see if we can somehow make this airplane fly when it's, you know, a little bit of like a natural trajectory. Let's see if we can main control of the airplane. See, let's give full power. Now, the good thing is... Obviously, wings falling off of an airplane is not very common, and especially very uncommon on the horizontal stabilizers. So, what we've got going on right here is not very usual, of course. Instead, the vertical stabilizer tends to fall off a lot more, even though this never really happens, of course. Here's, for example, B-52 that lost the vertical stabilizer. We all know the 767 Flight 587 flight, and of course, Japan Airlines 123, all of which had a vertical stabilizer loss. You know, that can happen a lot more frequently because it is after all just one wing and the yawing forces it has to hold up against are much higher than the pitch forces of the horizontal stabilizer. I mean, most of it is being put through the main wing anyway. Anyway, we've lost the horizontal stabilizer, something really that wouldn't really happen, but let's see what's going to happen now. We're in the cockpit. Let's maybe pretend like nothing's happening. All we notice is that we can pull up no matter what and nothing happens. <laughs> so 220 knots, 240 knots. At some point, we should rotate a little bit. I don't really know what's gonna happen, really. Are we just gonna roll out into the desert? Is this thing ever gonna achieve lift? Come on, nose ending gear. I'm pushing the joy, I'm pulling up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, everybody, we have taken off, but it's very dangerous. Maybe, oh, oh maybe cutting the end. Oh no, yeah, this thing has you have just no elevator control. Uh, so what's gonna happen now? Can we somehow save this? I don't know, by using what we've got left, and that is the aderons. 
Not really. All we do is pull up like that, and then we have become a literally non-airplane flying thing. And there we go. We just fall out of the sky. Genuinely, that is quite a crazy crash. But you know, it doesn't always have to be a total loss of horizontal stabilizer. I mean, think of China Airlines Flight 006, which was a very near crash scenario here, which lost most of its horizontal stabilizer, as well as the landing gear doors, interestingly. I mean, the plane was in genuinely a maneuver like this at some point, but managed to safely land somewhat. So let's not always assume they all completely fall off. How much horizontal stabilizer does the 747 really need? Now that is a clean shave. 50% of horizontal stabilizer is what the 747 has left. This will go well. No, generally, I, I actually don't really know if it's gonna fly. Obviously, we have the elevator and everything of the left stabilizer working still. I, I generally don't know. What's gonna happen? Are we gonna be able to take out? Let's take a look. So, full power now. Yeah, yeah, looking good. We have got, we've got most of our wings. Come on now. Come on now. It wouldn't really know. It looks a little bit scary, to be honest. It looks, it looks like we're gonna die. Okay, all is fine. We should be able to rotate now. We're at 180 knots, but what's gonna happen probably is that we're gonna tip very much to the side. Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what's happening. Uh, even though, wait, of course the right stabilizer's missing, but the surf plane is actually flying okay. Huh? What's interesting is that we've got a very, very minimal amount of elevator control. This plane flies pretty crap. So, for example, banking is a bit scary, but it flies fine. That's hilarious. I generally wouldn't have thought that. But hey, we still we still have control. I have no idea how this is possible. Wow. And this is, of course, very aerodynamically simulated and everything. Look, we can even perform some crazy banks right here. Yeah, losing part of the horizontal stabilizer isn't that big of a deal then. Let's see how well this airplane can still land. So in our emergency scenario, we're going to return back, put out the flaps all the way. Oh, I can see. Like pulling up during a bank to, you know, roll fast. It's very, it feels weird. So, for example, if you bank a lot, your elevator won't be able to keep the nose up. So, we go down quite a bit. Oh, 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 oh this is what I mean. We probably just need a, a lot of speed to fly this plane. But other than that, we're, we're doing okay. Here is LAX Airport. Let's land on this runway. Left are out all the way. Looking good. I'm just looking to fly. I like this 180 knots. It's fine. What I'm trying to figure out is that, of course, our airplane is very much asymmetric now i'm trying to find out whether i can notice that well definitely we have winds going out at zero and you can tell that it's definitely not flying straight talking about flying properly holy moly oh 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 yeah oh 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 okay this plane can only fly at 100 like 200 knots or above otherwise this elevator control is just not potent enough to keep the nose up interesting whoa hey 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 whoa 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 whoa, whoa okay I'm giving you a lot of speed, okay? It's fine. It's just not nice that your nose is down like that when I'm pulling up all the way. This will be a very bad landing. Okay, so I'm once again, a lot of speed right here. And uh, yeah, this is going well. Oh God, land now. Oh my God, reversers, let's do it. Oh. Yeah, this plane is weird to flare. It's like genuinely almost impossible. But there we go. Going full power into the braking makes our airplane stop. We've definitely been able to fly the spider. Uh, brokenness. Maybe then it is time to move on and figure out how much horizontal stabilizer do we really need. Let's do some cutting. Yes, you know, what if we turned this into this? Yes, we've lost a little bit of horizontal stabilizer. That is not good. You know, that can't be good, but let's see if we um, if we can take off. I mean, at least the elevator still works diligently. Ha, <laughs> look at that. All right, let's go full power. I really don't know if we're going to be able to fly properly, if we're going to notice anything at all. I don't know. Okay, come on, come on. This is not, this is a lot of damage. Come on, take off. Yes, yes. Yes, with enough speed. Interestingly, we were able to get the nose off. At 200 knots, we're totally fine. Whoa. Why does this airplane care so little? Like, okay, it does fly a little weird. And But for example, we can still pull up nicely without a problem. Okay, maybe we can pull up a little bit too nicely. That is actually a sign that we... The fact that we can do this shows that we have got no elevator st uh, stabilizer. That is not possible normally. Like, that just wouldn't work if that was still attached. But hey, we're able to do a flight still. Okay, this, uh, this clearly looks like trouble. That... 
Oh, that can't be good now. I don't know. Maybe we're gonna fly. I mean, we still have a little, <laughs> look, a little bit of diligent elevator there. Come on, go full power. Let's use a lot of flaps because that's actually what keeps us flying. Okay, come on. Uh-oh. This is not really doing anything. Oh, we are now uh, approaching 200 knots here and we're not able to take off. Oh, that's done quite a big difference. Come on, take off now. Oh, okay. This reminds me of a first take off. Come on, try, try to, come on, try to launch. All right, we've been launched, we've been launched. Let's keep control. Yeah, after you take off, it's, oh, pull up, pull up, pull up all the way. Oh, no. Yeah, that just isn't enough anymore. Interesting how it's a matter of a few meters that defines whether the airplane still flies or not. Like, look, spawning into midair, absolutely impossible to recover. Uh, we can kind of pitch up. You can see how it's somehow able to fly sometimes, but we've got literally almost zero control. I mean, we've already been set up for approach now, which means we can try to land. It's going to be pretty hard because, look, we our control inputs do pretty much nothing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this is like kind of trying to steer a horse, really. Oh, okay. Pulling up all the way. Doesn't really do anything. We just fall off. Let's... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. You don't need two horizontal stabilizers on the 747, but you need maybe uh, one full. That means we only need 50%. So uh, thank you very much for watching this video, everybody. I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Durham, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishititsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New The York. You've got beautiful names. Thank you.